This is probably the biggest sort of rock slash old coral. It's, it's all dead, but it's the biggest one around here. All the others are quite small and it could have something under here. Let's jump up on and um, yeah, check it out. Really no good there. Let's have a look around here. No, no, no. Here's a nice gap. Let's have a look in this gap. Oh, that could be legs off a crayfish. Right there, painted rock lobster. Yes, I think it is, and he's quite a big one too. Can you see him? Oh, he's seen me. He's just moved in. Let's see if we can get him. I can still see his little antenna there. I've only got a hand spear. Normally you'd use it like a spear gun or try and grab him. Oh, there's his other antenna out there. This could be tricky, very tricky. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's another one in there. Oh, I don't know if he's bigger or smaller, that one. There's definitely a couple in here. Oh, he's just making it all dirty. Okay, we're gonna have to drive the spear in and see if we get him. No, we missed him. Okay, let's go for the second one. Got him, yes, we got something, we got him. Oh, he's got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Oh, shit, I lost him. Through the head, come on. Got him. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on, he's dropping off. Okay, I'll just try and grab him, I think. Although, now I've lost him. Oh, he's down here somewhere. Oh, dirtied the water up. I'm going to have to stick my hand in there. Oh, I can't see a thing. Oh, there he is, there he is. I've got weed on there. Oh, there's his leg. You're not getting away, buddy. You are not getting away. Oh, where is he? Here, here. I'm just going to grab him. There we go. We got him. Oh, beautiful crayfish. Look at that. Woo. Let's see if we can get a good picture of that. That is a monster. Very nice. Okay guys, we're back in the bush kitchen. No mucking around here. This is the fastest catch and cook crayfish ever. I've got some water on the boil over here. It's gonna be uh, Prosecco, butter, garlic, and a bit of lime. First thing I'm gonna do is just get a knife and separate the tail from the body. It's a matter of running the knife around like so. And hopefully, just pulling it out. There we go. There's a little bit of guts and stuff on the tail here. I'm just gonna pull out that and hopefully the poop chute will come with it. There we go, nice and clean. There's actually quite a bit of meat in the legs and the antenna. So we're gonna cook the head up separately. We're just gonna steam that. Look at the eyes, look at the, the colors on these things. It's just, just cool. I'm just gonna pop the tail into some hot water only for about two or three minutes. What I wanna do is just blanch the outside of it. Definitely not cooked. You can, you can see it's all still translucent. I'm just cooling it down with a little bit of fresh water because we don't want it to keep cooking. Yeah, broken the antennas off so that hopefully he'll fit in there. A bit of a tight squeeze. To get the tail ready, I'm gonna cut it down the middle. And this is just to get the meat out. And there we have it. If you notice that, that meat is not at all cooked. It's just on the outside. Missed a bit of poop shoot there. Because I blanched it, this meat should just pull straight out of the shell. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. And there we have half of our crayfish. They're called uh, painted crayfish or tropical rock lobster. I sometimes 
when I eat these, I can taste a weird taste, and I think it's because it's been cooked in the shell. That's why I take the meat out of the tail, and just left with a beautiful piece of meat. It's been about eight minutes, and I reckon that head is done. I'll take that off the heat. In my frying pan, I'm gonna melt a nice amount of butter. Probably, I'm gonna say two or three tablespoons. For this recipe, you can use Prosecco, Champagne, or white wine. Cheers, guys. This is actually my biggest crayfish ever, so I'm gonna enjoy it. Mm. Don't drink all the Prosecco because we're going to cook with it. Once the butter's melted, pour in about oh, two thirds of a cup of wine Prosecco or champagne, leaving just a little bit for yourself. <laughs> and simmer that away. While that's reducing, I'm going to microplane some garlic in there. I'm going to do pretty, probably much, almost the whole clove of garlic. Mmm, that is smelling really nice. And we want to reduce that that mixture down to about half. I've actually taken that a little bit further than I said I was going to. It's probably reduced down about three quarters now, but it's got the right consistency. Put in our crayfish. Actually, I've just had a... Mmm. Even without flavors, that tastes really good. Let's get this other one in there. It's almost too much for the pan. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. Mm. Gonna turn the heat up on that. Get a bit of a sizzle happening. And then while that's cooking, we're gonna spoon the mixture over the top. I do wish I could get more crayfish. I don't do it very often, but when I get one, I like to treat it really well. Oh yeah, that's nice sizzle now. It won't take more than about five or six minutes to cook that. And we're gonna get the zest off uh, about a third of a lime just to give it a nice tropical zing a little bit of salt and the smallest smidge of pepper one more little basting we'll flip it over just to finish it off oh beautiful you might just get the tiniest bit of uh, lime zest on there as well and that's it it's done I'll give you a better look at that. Oh, but that smells divine. Caramelized garlic and butter. That zing from the, yeah, we'll have a taste. We'll have a taste. There we have tropical rock lobster or painted crayfish. Super fresh and delicious. Butter sauce, garlic, a bit of lime, a bit of prosecco. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Okay, let's try it. I can already smell the fragrance of that lime. Mmm, that is delicious. Nice and buttery, perfectly cooked. It's not flaking apart and it's not chewy. <clears throat> if you overcook crayfish, it gets all floury and flaky. And if you undercook it, it's too chewy. Mmm, but that is. That is spot on. And none of these flavors are overpowering. Mm, I like the, the little brown bits here. Oh, amazing. I think I'll get two meals out of this. This is um, probably about 300 grams of meat, which is, yeah, wow. Get that sauce. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. I hope you enjoyed my short episode. I've had terrible weather here, but this is worth it. Mm.